Hey guys, this is SB and welcome back today to another video inside of my awesome world and here we are in the waiting room. Good morning, Sean, paying attention to me. Yeah, we had a, we had a little chat just before I started, you know, made sure he actually acknowledged me for once and he, look at him. He's not looking at, wait, maybe he's looking at something over there. It's possible, it's possible. But anyway, we're going to go and head to Fred's office and see what today's challenge is going to be for my reward fish. So here we are at the challenge shack. Good morning, Fred. Hopefully you're doing good, buddy. And today's challenge is your fish is at Subway. Now, Fred, I'm pretty sure they don't sell fish at Subway, okay? They sell, like, sandwiches and that sort of thing, okay? It's fish, I've never never had fish from Subway, but you know what? If Fred says my fish is at the Subway, then that's where we're going to get my fish, okay? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna mess about, I'm gonna trust him, okay? <laughs> How many times has trusting Fred got me into trouble? Also, yes, we've sorted out the thing where Fred burnt my house down. All sorted, and my house is now just back to normal, so there's no need to worry about what happened last episode, okay? All solved and sorted. So, Subway is over this way. Um, kind of, it's hard to say exactly where, but it's kind of near the lighthouse, I suppose, is the best way to describe it. Um, you'll, you you probably know, you probably saw me build it. Um, it wasn't the, that long ago, although it was a, a while ago, I suppose, at the same time. Uh, is it, to us, I, I can't really, I know it's in this direction, I just can't remember what it's next to. Probably, like, next to the... I, I don't know. I'm not. I'm just gonna stop talking about that, and I'm just gonna go to it. It's, it's here, okay? You see, it's next to the uh, the best bed shop. You know, if you want a bed, you go right there, okay? That's how it works. So if we go into here, and uh, yeah, so apparently we can get some fish from here. Well, you can get drinks, water, milk, and, and ice. Of course, ice isn't the most important part. Um, maybe it's in one of these furnaces. No. Nope. Aha! Reward fish. I have found my reward fish. Perfect. Okay, so we're gonna put that to one side. I'm not just hungry just yet. Um, but yeah, this is my subway. You can just sit around here if you want, you know, if you want to just enjoy your meal, you just sit up here, you know. It's quite a high chair, as you can see, but if you walk forward, you'll just end up on the tables if you're not careful. So, yeah, <laughs> I've just walked all over that table after being outside. Sorry, whoever's working here today. Yeah, not going to be good. We don't get that many customers anyway, I suppose. It'll be fine. Um, so, yeah, I've got my reward fish. And then, well, now we can get on with what we're going to be doing today. So... Today, I was thinking that we'd use a special little trick that I found to find really good caves, okay? Um, it's, it only really works on the console edition. You have to be on, like, Xbox One or PS4. You could probably do it on Nintendo Switch as well, to be honest. Uh, you, maybe you could do it on Pocket Edition, actually, on, like, the Bedrock and stuff. Yeah, but you definitely couldn't do it on PC, okay? <laughs> I could have just started with being like, yeah, you can do this on every version but PC. Instead, I would, like, named every version you could do it. Okay, yeah, complicated. You can't do it on 360, either, though, I suppose, so... Anyway, I need some potions because we're going to be going caving. So basically, the trick is to find, it helps you to find caves. Let's just grab some night vision and some fire resistance. Are they eight minute ones, all of those? No, they're three minute ones. Let's just go and um, add some time to the uh, the old, uh, uh, these potions then. Okay, this is actually going to be not. I'm going to go and do it in another broom stand just because uh, it'll, it'll get a bit awkward otherwise, basically. So, because this is a machine that makes the potions from scratch for you, basically. So to upgrade the potions, it would I'd have to, it'd just be easier for me to make from scratch on that one. But I have a broom stand in my kitchen, so we'll just use that for now. Uh, so let's go and put the fire resistance in there. We're just going to add some redstone, and that should make it to eight minutes. Perfect. So yeah, I'm going to go and grab some stuff. And basically, the trick is, if you create a world, and it's just the classic size world, okay? Not the large ones or whatever. Just make a classic one, and then you load in all the chunks. You, like, go everywhere so that you have, like, a, a full map. If I show you kind of a, a map I have here. Uh, I also need my elytra, we'll get some fireworks, we'll get a water bucket. Yeah, oh, I also want my fortune pickaxe since we're going caving. Okay, we've got everything. I also need some armor, but if I show you on the map, and I pressed that button, no, I didn't, okay. Um, oh, I did press that button, I think. I've just closed it again. <laughs> just took a while to open. There we go. So you can see, like, if you make it a full map, okay, and then in between, and then and then make it a large world, you basically get like a like a, a one block wide, like gap and I'm going to show you basically that gap and, and you can use that gap to find caves and stuff it's a pretty pretty cool little trick to be honest so I'm going to need I'm going to need all of these uh, three armor here you know which, we, you've got to be prepared for these situations I'm just going to put my elytra on for now though I don't need anything else um, I'm going to enjoy my reward fish before we set off as well of course okay I'll go downstairs grab the potions the reason I'm just getting the uh, the fire resistance it's just a good idea isn't it just to get fire resistance I think before you you go caving. I'd hate to fall in lava and lose everything, you know? You just can't be too careful, okay? So we've got fire resistance there now. Eight minutes as well. Okay, I think we're uh, we're good. So I'm going to go and drink myself a potion of night vision to start off with. And I can now show you the trick. So the elytra are on perfect. Now then, let's just try and fly from here. Oh, look at him go. Look at that. You didn't think I was going to make that, did you? But I did. Look at that. You can put, can you put your arm out? 
I'm going to say, ready? Uh, da, da, da. <laughs> you just press crouch and it does that. Anyway, so I'll, I'll show you the little border that you get. Because I've got night vision, we'll be able to see underwater perfectly. If I put my helmet on as well, it's just going to help me out a little bit more. So here's the edge of the old world, the classic world, and there's the new world. So if we go down here, you'll see that there is this massive border here, this massive wall. And it's like a one wide, like, block thing. It's, it's, it's yeah, well, it's, it's basically, yeah, it's the border. So if we just go ahead and fly along here. Uh, we'll get to the corner, I think, just over here. So it's probably easy if I go above actually. So all the way over here, you can see it's like the corner border. So over here, here we have the corner of the world, okay? Am I drowning? I, I think I'm just stuck in the wall. So here's the corner of the world. And then like on my uh, on, on either side, you'll you'll find like caves and stuff, basically. So look at, we've got a cave right here. You see, case in point, okay? It works. Look at that. You can just see the caves. You can find, that's way easier to find a cave. Like you'd never find this cave otherwise because... From what I can see, there's no there's no entrance above ground. No, no entrance. Might be one over there, but I, I, you know, it's, it's it wouldn't be found otherwise. Okay, so you can go down here, and uh, you know you can. Well, okay, this wasn't the best cave, I admit. All right, I, there is better caves around, but it's just this was just to prove a point. This specific one. Okay, <laughs> so we'll go up here. Can we mine away at that? We can. Let's get ourselves back up and look at the way it aff the effect it makes. Like, cause the water, it's hard, to, but it's, the the water hasn't updated, so it doesn't flood the cave. Like, if I go and put this here, and then I'll break it. The cave will flood now. You see, I kind of broke it, but that's just kind of a little, uh, nice little trick. So, okay, see, there's another one over here. See, just because the first one didn't work perfectly doesn't mean other ones won't. All right, so look at this. You can drop in here. This is this one looks a little bit more promising. So, oh, can I can I run forward? Thank you. I can game. So yeah, you know, you just go down here, you check out all the stuff, and you find out it's another dead end. Okay, stop making a mockery of me trick. Okay, we we need some bigger caves. Oh, maybe around here. Uh, Ah, nope, that's a dead end as well. So, but but the point is, you know, you can find a lot of caves really quickly, you know. And I think it's just a little bit better than doing it on, like, just looking for surface caves. Because you can find, like, lower down ones and stuff. I, I think it's just a better a better way to do it now that I'm, I'm a little bit stuck here. I'm going to flip the cave now because it's going to update the blocks. Yeah, I flipped the cave. Ah, well, doesn't matter. I'm not, not going back there again anyway. <laughs> I've got no desire to go down there again. Uh, let's uh, let's try and get our elytra going again, maybe. Uh, no, we don't need to, actually. Um... Yeah, so, you know, there's no more caves for a little bit, but you can check both sides as well. Yeah, let's go and, uh, and fly a little bit more. So, the trick is with water, you see, you go like, you jump, and then you, you, you're underwater like that, and then you can just, you just glide along, okay? So, there's no caves back there that I miss, is there? Okay, is there any, uh, any up here? Okay, there's a few here, perfect. So, let's see, what's this one? <laughs> That's the worst one yet, alrighty, perfect. Come on, game. There's got, there's gonna be some good caves, I'm telling you now, okay? Uh, just... Further up here, and there could be some actually below me as well. It's just hard to to tell, really. So uh, let's have a little look. I don't see any. Um, maybe over there. I'll tell you what. We'll fly again. How about now? I can't fly. Okay. So yeah, we'll go along here and uh, hopefully find some caves. But I think I think this is a great way to just find these side caves. Like I say, especially if there was like one on the side down there, you'd see. I mean, it's just a trick you guys can try. Look at that. There's three here. No, four maybe. Okay. Surely one of these is going to be a cave worth going into, okay? Tell me it is. Look at this. Now, then, this, tell me I've never steered you wrong, okay? Let's drink this fire resistance. I'm confident. Look at it. It has two entrances as well. Okay, so, yeah, this is, this is basically the, uh, the first cave. So, you know, it's a, it's a good, decent size, isn't it? All right, uh, does it go any lower? I'm not too sure, to be honest. So, okay, so we've got a squid. Don't swim in here, mate. He's, he's swimming in. You, big mistake. Get back out there. I'll give you life, okay? That's it. Be on your way. Don't swim in here, okay? If you come back in here, it's your own fault, okay? I, I saved a squid once. I'm not saving him again. Um, yeah, can we get up there, maybe? Okay, we've got a skeleton in here. Probably a good time to armor up as well. Let's go ahead and put some armor on. Uh, so hopefully this cave is going to be good. I'm kind of banking on finding some diamonds, to be honest. That's kind of my, my grandmaster plan for this. So hopefully that does work. Okay, does the cave go... Okay, this is a little bit of a dead end this way. Um, let's go back this way. I feel like there's more. there's got to be more to this cave than what it is. I'm not going back out again, am I? Um, this way maybe a little bit? Uh, what about, th oh, through here. Oh, look at this, this is perfect, okay? So then we can go down here. Look at, oh, we're, we're getting a lot of mobs now, aren't we, as well? Okay, so, yeah, I mean, this is, this is all right, if you ask me, okay? Does it go much further? There's, there's quite a bit to it, actually. So let's go across this way, maybe. Okay, there's a giant spider there. Let's, uh, let's just jump past him. Don't mind me, uh, Mr. Spider. We'll go through here. Okay, and, oh, look at this. You see, okay, don't hit me in the back, spider. But look at the side. Oh, he's hit me. I landed it, though. Okay, look at that gold. I don't know if... I'm definitely not going to pick up iron. I might pick up some of the gold, though, possibly. Um, reason I'm not going to bother with iron is just because, like, 
I have an iron golem farm, so I don't really need to. A uh, good thing I brought that water bucket here, to be honest. In fact, I could just swim. I've got fire resistance. Why? Why not? Okay, depth strider doesn't work in lava. That myth busting with SP. It takes forever to get across. Um, so yeah, there was gold over there. Should I go and grab that gold? Because I mean, I'd have a decent amount of gold, but not a crazy amount. So it might be worth going for the gold. Uh, so let's go and uh, build our way up here. Okay. Excuse me, Mr. Creeper, but... Whoa! Did you see that little guy? He jumped out of the... I've never... <laughs> and they just fell in lava. What a guy. That is That has to be the greatest move I've ever seen from a baby zombie. There's there's no greater greater skill ever. Ever, ever produced, okay? But uh, yeah, this is a good place to find diamonds, it has to be said. Um, I was making my way over to that gold. I can't even see it. Oh, it's over there. Okay, let's go and pick up uh, the gold. How has a pig got down here? And it's you, another one of you. I, I've, I've learned my lesson with you guys, okay? Whoa, don't blow up the pig. Whatever you do, don't blow up the pig. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, get out of here, you. And, and you get out of here. Oof. You're right down there, mate. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, uh, you as well. Okay, you will get out of here. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what happened to you, but yeah. Okay, I'm going this way. The gold is too much trouble. Okay, another skill. Oh, wait, did I just see diamonds? Hold on. I think I might have seen something there. Uh, we can get more gold later. I'll get that gold on the way back. But I think, I think I might have seen some diamonds. Look at it. What a great start, hey? What a great start this is. So we'll go ahead and mine away. Uh, these diamonds, so I'm gonna bring out the old fortune pickaxe. Let's see how many diamonds do you reckon we're gonna get? I see th out of these three odds, I reckon we'll be on eight. What do you reckon? No, 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 not a three, uh, seven, four. You know, same thing. But you still a good amount. Let's 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 not you know. Let's let's remember that's still an okay amount. Um, so we've got all of this down here. Uh, yeah. So we'll go and have a little look around here. A bit of gold. I can finally pick up some gold. I've been trying to for a while. There's actually a lot of gold in this cave. I've noticed. Um. Yeah, so that's good. If I, I mean, I'm not desperate for a lot of gold, but I suppose if I, if I, if it's right in front of me, I might grab it. I might not. Okay, I kind of want to look around more in this ravine. To be honest, it looks like it's um, it's a lot of potential in this ravine. You'd have to say. Look at the speed I can go in the water. I, I love depth strider. It has to be one of the best enchantments that you can get. Okay, well, more gold there. Should we go and grab that quickly? Uh, I've just got to keep an eye on my enchantments. That's the only thing. That's like the important thing that I want to worry about. Not mention my potions. Um, I mean, if night vision runs out, I suppose I'll know. It's mainly fire resistance. I don't want to jump into lava only to find out I no longer have my fire resistance active. That'd be a uh, a slight problem, wouldn't it? Okay, this looks cool. Uh, we've got a, a lonely poppy. Oh, poor thing. Uh, we'll carry on then. We'll carry on searching through. See if we can find uh, any other places. Look at this. An, an abandoned mine shaft. How cool is this? Um, it's like a... Actually, this is like, I've never seen this before. This is like a one by one abandoned mine ship. Okay, creeper, you can't get to me. There's no way. Look at that, you're stuck. Okay, don't blow up now. <laughs> it's just like, oh well, I'm stuck. Oh, my night vision's run out. Okay, see you later, creeper. Look at that, what a shot. What a shot. Okay, so we'll go and grab, uh, we'll go and drink the next night vision potion then, I suppose. So yeah, this goes both ways as well. Um, Yeah, let's uh, let's go and, and search. Oh, I've fallen down. Wait, what on earth was that? What Was that actually what? Okay, I, I feel, I don't know what happened there, to be honest, but definitely didn't work out. Don't worry, I can swim up my own water. There you go. That's a little trick for you, isn't it? Climb a wall with a water bucket. It's very doable. So we'll go and uh, grab that. Let's see, is it just a little dead end down here? I think, I think it might be, to be honest. Yeah, it is a little bit. Let's go the other way then. I, I want to kind of see, like, this is a one by one abandoned mine shaft. I've never seen that before. I think it's because this is the world border, you know? Okay, let's, let's go and dig our way through here. Let's pull out the old axe. I think it, I think this is like what the world border is. Yeah, look at this. How cool is this? This is really uh, interesting. So you work your way through here, and then it, it opens up a little bit. Okay, let's uh, let's go down here. What about? Okay, what's through that? There's like fire through there. Is there some lava? Maybe there must be some lava around here if there's fire. Where there's where there's lava, this. Okay, that's really weird. It's like a random burning block. Okay, never seen that before. Anything through here? No. Okay, nothing. Too much, just a dead. Okay, that was weird. Why was it burning? Uh, we also need to eat some food, so let's go and grab some nice old steak. There we go. I'm still keeping out. Thankfully, I can see in the top right-hand corner if I've still got fire resistance, so that's always a handy thing. Okay, where do we, where do we want to go now? Let's have a little see. Maybe through here. Okay, this is uh, this is good. Um, to be honest, what level are we on? Actually, this could be a really good uh, like abandoned mine shaft just for like diamonds, like 16. Like diamonds can generate on this. I think they can generate up to like 18, maybe. So it's possible that they could generate here. You know. Um, Let's have a little look. It goes down here as well. I don't know if there's any anything here, mate. Let's have a little look. Uh, no, it's just a dead end. Uh, unless I mine around, I don't think I'll find any diamonds. Anything down here? Oh, look at this. More diamonds. Perfect. Okay, let's uh, let's grab these. Okay, come on, fortune pickaxe. Give me more diamonds. You're normally better than this. Okay, how many did, it, did I have I got there? 
Seven. Why is my fortune pickaxe so terrible today? It's giving me... <laughs> it's, I've mined like six ore and got seven diamonds for it. Normally I'd have like 18 by now or something. Okay, a little bit disappointed, but at least we're finding diamonds. I'm not, it's not like I'm desperate for diamonds anyway. I've quite a lot of them to be honest with you. So uh, yeah, I think we'll be all right. Let's have a little uh, look through here maybe. Oh, more gold. We'll grab that. Okay, this looks like it could be a dead end unless this lava leads to somewhere. This is all why you always bring a water bucket when caving because you can just do this, walk along, and keep going, but it looks like that's, yeah, dead and hardly worth uh, going down there. What about up here, maybe? There might be some more. Oh, maybe down there as well. Uh, yeah, we'll have a little look. You know what? You never know. There could be a few things just lurking about. Oh, more gold. Go on then. Okay, and, and don't... I know what people are going to say. I'm going to get a lot of comments saying, SP, you miss gold, and it was probably intentional. I just probably couldn't be bothered to get it if I miss gold. I'll probably get comments saying I miss diamonds because I probably have missed diamonds because that's, that's just, like, what I always do. So, you know... <laughs> Every episode I go caving, there's always, always a time where I miss some diamonds and everyone else sees it. Look at that, free iron. I didn't come here to get iron, but we've got the iron now. Uh, so we'll go mine up here. Let me get back out of here. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I think we'll go the other way now, okay? Uh, kind of back towards the abandoned mine shaft, which I don't mind the idea of, actually, because, like, it, we've already found diamonds around it. Oh, look at this. A mob spot. What an unfortunate place to be in a mob spawn. Also, my fire resistance is running out, so let's go and uh, just drink some more so I can walk through this lava at ease. This is an unfortunate place to have a mob spawner, isn't it? That, well, to be honest, for me, it's fortunate because it just doesn't spawn anything because it's too light, so that's good. What's in uh, What's in here? We have a mending book. That's pretty rare. Um, none of the other stuff's really uh, interest me, so I'm just going to fill this up with a few extra treasures for somebody else. You know, an iron ingot. You never know. Someone else might find that, and it could make their day. Okay, what's through here? Anything at all? Um, oh, wait, does that go to the, Oh, that's back to the surface. I think that's the uh, the ocean up above. Yeah, I can see squids and everything up there. Okay, well, I don't want to go there just yet. Wait, can I go down here? Oh, I can. Nice. Where does this lead to? It leads to some random blocks. Okay, look at it. It's a ravine. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. And look at this. They're like, it's really generated weirdly, this uh, abandoned mine shaft. Oh, poor old bat just died. But it's, yeah, really weird. I think it just ends here as the abandoned mine shaft, but it like barely starts. It's just like a few blocks and that's it. Okay. That's, uh, that's interesting, and look at this, more diamonds, okay, this time, diamonds, you need to give me, you need to give me more, okay, I need, I need a load, okay, I'm kind of worried there's going to be lava underneath, okay, yeah, there's definitely going to be some lava underneath this, um, we have to be careful, okay, that's all that it's going to take, just care and precision, so I'll tell you what I'm going to do, start off by mining away at this block, and then put water in there, and then, any diamonds? Okay, there was no there was no lava underneath after all. I don't think, but just in case, you can't be too careful. Okay, I got a lot of diamonds from that. This could be a lot of that. Oh, there's a lot of diamonds. This is a big one, a big hole. This could make my entire trip. Oh, wow, it goes deeper as well. Okay, I think that's all of them. I'm pretty sure I got every diamond there. Okay, and we got a lot. There was a big vein of diamonds. I'm up to 27 diamonds. This is not my record for diamonds, but I tell you what, a lot of diamonds. I think this cave cave in area is so big. Like I don't think I'd ever be able to explore the whole thing. But, yeah, man, it's crazy. I'm not going to get redstone either or coal. Both of those things I'm, I don't need. The only thing I'm really bothered about now when I go mining is, I'd say diamonds. Um, I guess you could say I could get lapis, but I'm also really not desperate for lapis either. Um, look at that. And, and gold, you know, I, I will... It, I think gold just looks so good. You just It's just hard to say no to gold. I think that's the problem with gold. But I, I don't really need gold either, <laughs> unless I want to build, like, a gold mansion. I just go to a mesa biome if I want gold, to be honest, because that, that's there's just gold everywhere there. But, you know what? You can't say no to some free gold. Now, I'm going to get more... I think I've ended up with more gold than diamonds, which I guess would be expected, wouldn't it? You'd expect to have more gold than diamonds. Uh, let's go and just grab some cobble. We can pick that up. Perfect. Um, yeah, 30 gold, 27 diamonds. Okay, well, that's not a bad a bad little ratio. Okay, what is that? There's an extra bit of it, that as well. Okay, uh, so I think we've pretty much explored the ravine now. Yeah, there's nothing else here, unfortunately. So is it a dead end as well at the end? Oh, well, one little diamond waiting for me at the end. And a bit of iron. Well, you know what? He'll pick up the iron. How many? We got two more diamonds there. 29. Okay, you know what? I think that's a successful mining journey to to say that we used my little trick to find a cave. Um, which, you know, it, I think it's just a, a really handy little trick to find good caves, basically. Because we, what did we search? We found like four or five different caves and managed to search them all and eventually found, you know, one really good one. So, yeah, and we can, we can swim up to the surface now and get out of here. So, look at me. 
Look at me. <laughs> I just see a creeper drop beside me. <laughs> you go so slowly when you're up next to a wall as well. But yeah, thanks for uh, for watching this episode. Let me know if you use this trick and if it works for you. Uh, so you basically have to, yeah, to use it, you have to make a classic world. And then with the classic world, you have to expand it to a large world like I have with my world, basically. So yeah, we found stuff on this side, but there's, there's like three other sides as well that this could work on. So there's, there's a lot of potential to be honest. There is a lot of potential. So where's this taking me at? It's pretty much back where we started, actually. Yeah, we... Yeah, that's nice. We'll go to the tropical island and finish there. How about that? Um, yeah, I think we've got some fish there, to be honest. And that's, we all know that that's the real treasure here, isn't it? You know, getting some um, some lovely uh, fish. So I'm going to take off my armor now. And I'm going to have a look in here. Look at it, loads of fish. Do I have any in the uh, the furnace as well? I think there's a possibility. Uh, maybe I don't, actually. Maybe I don't. I, I'll get some cooking in a bit, then. I'll get some You know, we can smelt the... No, that's an oven, not a not a smeltery, okay? We're not putting iron or gold in there. But yeah, thank you very much for watching this episode. Make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy it, and also subscribe if you're new to the channel for daily videos of Minecraft. So yeah, as I said, thank you very much for watching, and hopefully I will see you guys next time.